What's up again, everybody? It's me, James, and guess what? I got another Rosecraft blade, and I got the cat right over here off of camera view, and for whatever reason, she's just fascinated with these things when I pull them out, and I try to I try to move her away. Anyway, let's just get to it. This is the third Rosecraft knife that I've got, and I've had two here that are in amazing condition, and I absolutely love, love getting these things. And so I got another one here. This one is not labeled on the box. Here it is. Little Riverbend Skinner, white bone. How cool is this? So I'm gonna pull this out. I also got this awesome cozy from uh, from buying that Barlow. And once again, I got these knives from traditionalpocketknives.com. So check them out, links in the description if you want to get yourself one. So let's open this thing up. There we go. Always well packaged. I like the boxes. Now, let's see. Hopefully, this one's going to be a winner. It sure is beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Now, this is a Skinner. Real cool looking. Wow. Once again, really nice polished. No gaps. None. Look at that. Bone handles are really good and slick, polished really well. Got a, that rose shield that I really like, which is missing on the Barlow. I like that. People like that. This thing is nice, once again. And they're really clean. You notice, like, when you get other knives, like cases and stuff, they're filled with, like, polishing compound. Uh, these are really well cleaned when you get them. Got a lanyard hole here. You can put yourself a nice lan lanyard. Oh, the fluted bolster, that's cool, too. Once again, it's all D2. Got a nice pull to it. Has a half stop. Thank God, because these things are razor sharp. D2 steel. Yeah, it's razor sharp. I didn't pull the sticker off of this one yet. Um, forgot to. But if you don't like the sticker, they come right off and they clean off without a problem. Like on this one. Completely gone. Which is nice. You don't have the China stamping on there. So let's see, we're at the half stop. And it's got a nice, the whole walk and talk. I just realized I had the fan on. I just realized I had the fan. I'm sure that's a lot of extra noise you, did, you need to hear. So yeah, let's listen to this walk and talk. Really great, especially for the, the price point of these things, man. Really good for the money. Look at this blade. Look at that blade, man. This thing is, it's wicked sharp. Just wicked sharp. It's just a really nice knife. I mean, and it's D2. And if you know anything about D2, it's a little hard to sharpen to get razor sharp. So it comes out of the box razor sharp. So you know it's possible, but it's, it's a little bit more work. But once it takes an edge, it keeps that edge. I remember I used to use my queen knife, uh, my uh, canoe to cut cardboard. And I would sharpen that thing to, it would start to pop hair, okay? And I would go and work, and I wouldn't have to sharpen that thing for like, I don't know, four days, something like that. So basically, I would go almost a week, or I would really go a week, and it would start slowing down cutting boxes. I didn't, that's not the only job I did, but if you know anything about cutting cardboard, it wreaks havoc on knives, you know, it just kills the edge. So, I mean, you can use cardboard to actually sharpen your knives, that's how abrasive it is. So for D2 to keep an edge like that, yeah, I mean, that's some strong edge retention stuff. So, and you're getting that with these knives, which is really cool. Absolutely beautiful. Love the fact that they're the old queen steel, the old D2. See the centering? Centering is good as always. These things are awesome. Look like every time. Centered. Centered. It's just like, these things are, I applaud the company, uh, Rosecraft, here, for making such really good knives at a really good price point. Really do. I uh, think they are just for the money. Now, some people have compared them to Rough Rider Reserves, and I be on, I'll be honest with you, I haven't gotten one of those. If you want to send me one send me an email i'll love to take one and take a look at it but these things are absolutely wonderful for the money i cannot believe the quality um 
And if Rough Rider Reserve knives are like this, then wow, I need to get some and check those out. But I haven't got one of those yet. This is probably my favorite, but this one was the one that got me. I, I just like this ridiculous engraving on the bone and it's wonderful. I don't want to go too long because if I go too long, guys won't watch. If you're enjoying the video, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. And don't forget to leave a comment. That helps with the algorithm and helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to be notified for every time I upload a video, go ahead and hit the bell icon and that will tell you when I upload a video. Also below, there's probably some Amazon affiliate leaks for uh, cool stuff like knife oils and knife books, including this one here, the Knife Collector's Log and Record Book that I made for us fanatics who like to log our stuff. So I hope you're enjoying the video and we're going to go right so, back to it. Let's just do some measurements real quick. Looking at just under four inches just under four inches and this thing's a little bit bigger than the rest let's see looking at just under seven inches maybe six and three quarters just slightly over six and three quarters in comparison to these this is the jack and the barlow from largest or from smallest to largest here I'll make this one back to back. This thing has a wicked grip. Like, look, you could put that in your palm, man. It fills the hand just great. Love that. Love that. Put the back to this so it's a little bit more. You can see this one's definitely the longest knife of this of the run or of the bunch. Really cool. I love these things, guys. If you want to uh, get yourself one, there'll be a link below. Uh, to I get them from traditionalpocketknives.com. Love working with Austin. Um... If you want to get one, check it out. Also, there's links in the description. And if you like what you watch, subscribe and you know the rest. Subscribe, leave a comment and everything. Like the video. All right, guys. See you next time. Thanks for all the support. Bye-bye.